Hundreds of people are still ignoring school bus stop arms across the state, despite three kids being killed trying to get on their bus back in October. In one day last month, 170 people illegally passed school buses just in Allen County. Every year, the State Department of Education asks schools to count stop arm violations for one day. This year, more people in Allen County did stop compared to last year. But as Fox 55's Cody Butler explains, schools say that is still too many people breaking the law. The lights are flashing and too many people are illegally passing. Bus drivers across the state are still reporting incidents of stop arm violations like this recent one in East Noble. We got to protect the children. Tom Pippinger has grandkids who ride East Noble buses, and he's worried about their safety. There could be somebody who's in a hurry to get to a coffee break or somewhere and totally ignore the stop arm, and uh, a, ch a child could be hurt. It could be my grandchildren. On April 23rd, bus drivers across Indiana counted how many people did not stop while they're loading and unloading. East Noble saw every driver stop that day, but every district in Allen County had violations. All but Northwest Allen saw fewer stop arm runners than last year, but it is still reporting the fewest violations in the county with only seven. It just depends on the day, and I think in this case, you happen to catch us on a really good day. Fort Wayne Community Schools saw the most with 19 violations, about 50 less than last year's count. It's very frustrating, um, you know, for our drivers um, and, and also for, for our parents um, to know that, um, you know, that there are folks that are in such a rush. Fort Wayne Police issued more than 60 tickets just to FWCS stops, many caught by our cameras. Transportation Director Frank Jackson says efforts won't stop there. Because we carry uh, precious cargo, our children, and we're going to make every effort to make sure the community is well informed. Any violation of this sort is a hazard to children and to people, and, and at the end of the day, it's about saving lives. Now, for the next school year, drivers who ignore stop arms will face tougher penalties. Governor Eric Holcomb signed a bill that would suspend someone's driver's license for 90 days for the first time they run a stop arm. And Fort Wayne, Cody Butler, Fox 55 News.